Now, Scotty, first find somewhere safe to cross where you can see clearly both ways, not behind the bus, Spotty. Oh, sorry, Super Dead. When you're ready to cross, don't stand too close to the edge of the road. That's better, Spotty. Then you must look both ways and listen. If there's anything coming, you mustn't try and cross. Then when you're sure that nothing is coming, walk carefully across the road. Don't <coughs> run, Spotty. You might fall over. And all the time you must look and listen for traffic until you are safely on the other side. Remember, I can't be there to save you, especially on the planet Earth. Good afternoon. A crane driver was trapped in his cab for three hours when the machine overturned in a ditch on a farm in Suffolk this morning. The driver was knocked unconscious when the 30-ton drag line excavator toppled over a drink stone near Beris Nedmans. Emergency services had to call in heavy lifting gear, which was escorted to the scene by the police. The driver, John Clark, from Baton near Berry, regained consciousness as firemen were cutting him free. And he's been taken to hospital suffering only minor head and leg injuries. The casualty unit at Doddington Hospital in Cambridgeshire closed for further until further notice today. It's the latest victim of a nationwide shortage of trained medical staff. Doddington has been searching for more than a month for a bone specialist, but without success. While the unit stays shut, accident victims will be forced to travel to Peterborough, Ely or Kings Lynn. There have been more thefts from pensioners by gangs of children in Norfolk and Cambridgeshire. In Ely, more than a thousand pounds was stolen by a fair-haired girl aged about ten and wearing a pink dress who asked an old lady for a drink while two boys ransacked her home. And several hundred pounds has been stolen by a gang of children in the Norfolk villages of Feltwell and North Pickenham. The strike which has crippled production at Paxman's Diesels in Colchester is over. 600 workers voted to go back at a mass meeting today. Last week, Paxman sacked the entire shop floor staff for defying a management ultimatum to call off an overtime ban. The strike ended after the firm withdrew dismissal notices and agreed to discuss a pay claim, the original cause of the dispute. 900 new houses could be built in the small Essex town of Great Dunmo to cope with increased population resulting from expansion at Stansted Airport. 3,000 new homes will be needed. Most will be built in existing towns such as Harlow and Bishop Stortford. But local planners are also investigating sites at Dunmo, eight miles from Stansted. A keen fisherman is in hospital with serious burns after touching an overhead power cable with his brand new rod at Luton Railway Station. The man was so impatient to try the rod out that he assembled it on the platform as he waited for his train and caught a 25,000 volt cable. Well, that's the news. Now look at the weather. And all parts of the region will remain cool for the next 24 hours. It'll be mostly cloudy with rain at times, especially overnight and early tomorrow. And that's the regional news and weather.